super excited to show you guys the Keypix smartphone picture printer. What's really cool about this device is that it doesn't use any Bluetooth or battery. All you have to do is simply just put your phone on top of it and it prints it out on Instax paper. So if you have an Instax camera, this is kind of works very similar to that except you're using your smartphone to take the pictures. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how the printer works and how to best set it up to take the coolest pictures possible. So let's get started. So the printer itself is quite compact. This is all the package comes with. Um, you will have to buy Instax mini film in order to print onto it and that's sold separately. So let's go ahead and load the film into this camera. So we're going to flip it over and we're going to eject this over here and we're going to open up one of these Instax films. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. It's very important that you keep the yellow sticker facing upwards. We're going to put that in there and then click it in. So that was as easy as that. So now we're going to flip it over and now with the Instax um, paper, the first one is usually just a tester paper. So we're going to go ahead and turn the dial and remove that. There it is. There's that first picture. So once it prints out, you want to stop turning so that you don't ruin any of the further film that's in here. Okay, so now that we got our protector film out, let's go ahead and print something. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to open it up wider so that we can take out the framer. And all you got to do is just pull it out like that. And then this part comes up over here. So while we have this open like this, I want to show you guys a few things. Here is the camera lens that you want to keep clean at all times. Um, over here we have the mirror so that it helps you see that and make sure that the picture is aligned once you put it on top with your smartphone. This right here is super important. It's the shutter release. So we're going to push it down when you're ready and when the smartphone is perfectly aligned to where you want it to be. And then once you do that, then you start turning this knob over here. But this is super important because that's what actually captures the image. So once you have taken this white frame out, you're going to go ahead and put this up together. And it's going to snap into place. Now, now the most important thing you're going to want to do with your phone is make sure that your auto lock is off. So you're going to go to display and brightness. You're going to want to make sure that your auto lock is off so that it doesn't turn off when you're taking the picture. Then you're going to go into your settings, change your portrait orientation lock also to off, and you want to have your brightness all the way to the highest point so that you can get the best image possible. So now we're going to go into photos and we're going to choose a picture that you really like. So this is a picture that I really like. Now you're going to align it this way. So you have the, the picture facing upwards and you're going to do it like that. Flip it over just like that. Then. Over here, we're going to align this and this with this and this. Hold it over and go ahead and place that on top. Just like that. Then you're going to check the mirror to make sure that it's okay. Then as I said earlier, again, the most important thing is to press this shutter release button. So you're going to press that and then you're going to turn it and then you're going to start printing out the picture and here it comes out you can hear it move listen very carefully to hear when to stop it becomes a little bit harder you're gonna do one bigger push and you push it out and then from there that's it now we're gonna wait for this to finish developing so as you can see, the quality in these pictures is pretty incredible. What I really like a lot about this product is that it's super easy to use. It's super compact, very versatile, and it's the most important thing is that it takes pictures that you already have on your phone. And it's a lot easier to use your phone to take pictures than using um, the Polaroid type camera. So I think that's a very big feature about this. It also folds very nicely and fits very easily into a backpack and it doesn't use batteries or Bluetooth or anything fidgety. It's super easy to use and it's very simple. So 
that's that. Now this picture is almost pretty much developed and it's coming out really nice. Um, it's a little bit faded, but I think that's pretty acceptable. Like over here, this one has had the longest time to develop and the darkness in this picture and the quality is pretty incredible. So I'm pretty amazed by this product. So yeah, that's pretty much how to use the Keypix printer. Um, I'm really excited to use this on vacations. Um, I want to take this time to thank Tomi of the developers of this printer for letting me use this and test this product out. I get a lot of random emails from developers to test out their products and this by far is one of the coolest ones I've done. And yeah, if you want to purchase this product, you can go down and check out the link in the description. And that's that. So if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you really like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time guys.